Hey, 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 beautiful beings. How are we all today or this week or whenever you are watching? Um, I wanted to come in to talk about the full moon on the 30th of November. So um, I'm not an astrologer by any means and I have no idea what it means when it says it's going into Gemini. But what I can tell you is how I feel in the week leading up to it and what experiences I'm having as well as what other people that I speak to are having. And basically using these experiences and sharing our experience and what's going on feels as if this is something I always feel as if I'm experiencing the energies of the full moon or the new moon in the week leading up to it. So I came up with a word, which I invented, which I'm quite pr proud of, um, pre-moonal. So this is where you are feeling the effects and the impact of the full moon or the new moon energy in the week leading up to it. So the first energy that I wanted to share about this full moon is around detachment. Detachment? Detachment, however you want to say it. Um, so I have spent these last couple of days literally looking at things and removing things from my house be it paperwork that I've been holding on to and carrying around since I was 18 and younger you know objects that I'm like actually I don't need this anymore why do I have this books I'm so sentimental about books but I have been gradually over time removing the ones that I don't read anymore so a few other people members of my um members of my membership group and members of my free Facebook group Consciousness Arising have also been saying similar things that they're in this decluttering and detachment mode okay this detachment as well is around not only objects and things in your life but it may be that you're beginning to detach from certain people from certain relationships um yeah just people in your life that maybe aren't on the same alignment or in the same place as you so just be aware of that they're coming up to this full moon there's a lot of stuff being let go of that isn't going to be needed going forward um the other thing that's coming up for many people as well at this time is past life traumas actually surfacing in the physical body so some people a friend of mine bless her has suddenly developed a rash on her chest for no reason um there was someone else who was starting to have pains in the head you know having headaches um so just be aware of your physical body as well at this time because if there's something from the past which hasn't yet been dealt with it's going to come up in this week okay there's also things like frustration impatience anger you know a lot of the um what we call the shadow side of ourselves is going to be coming up this week again in order to be cleared and um, so this morning I myself woke up feeling very frustrated feeling really impatient because I've got so many things I want to do but I don't have all the time that I want to do them and I was just like Wah! um and I was like why am I feeling like this and I listened to a brilliant Laurie Ladd um video this morning called Becoming and she just talked about breathing through it and meditating and breathing so I was like right that's all I'm doing today is taking these really deep breaths when I'm starting to notice that I'm feeling any impatience or frustration and meditating why am I feeling impatient um, and I got a bit of a telling off from the universe because it's like you know you can't have everything now Lindsay you know your timeline isn't the same as ours so we've heard you we're putting in your request you just gotta wait um and patience is definitely you know one of life's biggest lessons for us all i think so just be aware that in this run up to this full moon on monday yeah these are some of the um full moon energies that are coming up and the reason that they're coming up is to be cleared again so healing yourself you know and doing this spiritual work it is like an onion it's like you peel one layer and there's another layer to go and then another and another so even though we might think to ourselves well I've done that work you know I've had some Reiki and I've had this done and I know this and I know that I'm done healing the universe is like boom you are not. have some of this love so just be aware this week if any of these feelings are coming up they're coming up to be cleared and the way you can clear and shift them is through meditating through journaling yeah through if you feel you need to go out and scream 
go out and scream okay I'm not judging you for that um if you want to bang a drum if you need to dance yeah ask yourself what is it that I need to do in order to clear this energy okay so I think when I started working with the full moon and the new moon um I always thought oh the energies happen on that day so on Monday the 30th when we have the full moon going into Gemini that is when all of these energies are going to happen and occur when in actual fact the energies are building up in the week beforehand so we've also got a lunar eclipse on Monday as well and um, so the energies can feel a bit stronger just what we need <laughs> um, I'm only joking I am I'm so grateful for the work that I do with the moon um, so yeah so just be aware of this detachment and beginning to detach from objects from people from situations that are coming up and um, and the past life traumas as well maybe coming up to the surface in the physical body to be cleared so you may find you may find yourself feeling more tired you know needing to rest more listen to your body and ask what is it that you your body needs right now to clear this stuff okay okay so I'll put in the comments there is I've got a really basic like how to do a full moon ritual if you've never done any full moon work before which can really help you to let go of stuff to release stuff etc um, and also on Monday the 30th I am going to be doing a live full moon gathering um, which will be like a sharing circle there'll be a channeled meditation just to help you really ground and release some of these energies that you may be feeling um, and again I will pop the details in the comments when I have that sorted and set up okay um, there was just I asked in my group um, if there was any questions that people wanted to know as well the answers to so I was just going to share some questions um, that they have asked and I will share so I was asked whether spirits can hear us when we speak to them um, the answer is yes yes spirits are they can be everywhere you know we're all connected so whenever we speak to spirits or spirit guides or angels or whoever it is you want to speak to in the ether they can all hear us our words are vibration so that vibration reaches them they hear it and they will respond but it might not be in the time we want okay um there was a question about getting over self-doubt so when you're starting to do this work you might start to question yourself it's like is this real did i hear this did i see this did i feel this and I would recommend the best thing for getting over self-doubt when you're beginning your spiritual journey is to document everything. So if you write stuff down that's happening, you're building up like a case study for yourself of evidence. Yeah. So whether you're starting to do readings for other people or whether you're starting to hear voices, um, like hear words from spirit, whether you, you think you think you're speaking a spirit guide. Um, so an example this morning you know because like i said i was feeling very frustrated and i was feeling impatient i was like just send me a sign that there's someone up there that is listening to what i'm saying and about 10 minutes later i was washing my dishes and a little robin appeared and jumped into the guinea pig cage guinea pigs were in there thankfully um and started eating and for me robins are always a sign that spirit are around so i was like okay thank you i, I, I hear you're listening <laughs> you know so little things like that can help you come over come over overcome your self-doubt um and then the last question i got asked which i thought was really good was around how do we balance our ascension awakening with jobs that we are no longer in alignment with okay um and that's a really interesting one because and the answer that sort of that i feel is the more work that we are doing on ourselves you know in terms of coming into alignment you know coming from a place of unconditional love compassion kindness etc the more work we are doing on ourselves yeah the the more it begins to reflect back to us from the external world so again the results aren't immediate so if you feel yourself very aligned emotionally spiritually you know but you're in a job that's just not quite fitting sometimes it can take a little bit of time for those steps to sort of um be recognized in the external world and for the changes to take place outside of yourself so there's that famous um phrase isn't that as within so without 
So if you're feeling very aligned, but you're currently in a job that's not serving its purpose or that's not serving you anymore, then at some point there will be something that either happens to shift you into something else um, or you know, there'll just come a point where you're like, actually, I can't do this anymore. And you make the decision yourself to leave that job or to find something else which is more aligned with your sole purpose. Um, but there is, and this week as well, I very much feel that there's this, um, I don't know how to explain it, this in-between thing. So many of us are like, we don't feel like we're quite in the new world or the new earth, but we still don't feel like we're in the old one. We're, we're in this in betweeny sort of fit, um, stage where we're trying to fit into both and neither's really working. But, you know, do understand it is a transition, you know, for many of us. It is a process. And it might feel a bit sort of like Ooh, uncomfortable for a little bit, but you will get to where you need to be. Okay. So, yeah. So carry on doing the work within and the, the external world will begin to reflect that back to you, okay? So yeah, so happy full moon guys. If you are um, feeling these full moon energies, then do share in the comments below. Like I said, if you want to learn how to do a full moon ritual for yourself, I will pop that in the comments as well. And if you want to join me in a full moon sharing circle, on Monday the 30th of November then again drop me a note you can send me an email you can find me on Facebook Instagram everywhere and um, yeah happy full moon guys see you later